Hey guys, welcome to Deanne Creates, your online hangout for cricket crafts, celebration crafts, and whatever crafts I'm inspired to make. Today, I'm bringing you a real simple and quick tutorial. We're customizing a sash with heat transfer vinyl, so let's get into it. You're gonna start by measuring the length and width of your sash to determine the largest possible size of your text. Now open the Cricut Design Space app. Click on the text button and type in your text. Since I'm working on a 60th birthday party, I'm gonna type 60 years love in all caps. The font that I used was downloaded from defont.com. I use the same font in my cake topper, tumbler cup, and face mask projects. Okay, because I measured and my sash is three and a half inches wide, I'm going to resize my words to about 2.75 inches. Copy the text two more times. We're doing this so that the font of each word is exactly the same. In the first row, delete everything except the word 60. In the second row, delete everything except the word years. And in the third row, we're deleting everything except the word loved. Right click on each word and select the word weld to make sure that the letters that are touching connect in one continuous piece. Click on the make it button. Click on the mirror button on the left side of the screen to reverse all of the letters. For this project, I use glitter iron on transfer vinyl to add a little sparkle to my sash. After removing the label, roll it up and place it inside the cardboard tube so that next time you're doing a project, you can tell what kind of vinyl it is. Spread the vinyl on your Cricut mat shiny side down. Shiny side down. I need to give me a bread tool. That's what's gonna happen today. Place the mat inside your Cricut machine. Change your dial to custom. The custom window should pop up on your computer screen. Change the material to glitter iron on and hit apply. Go to your Cricut machine, press the go button and let your Cricut machine do its thing. When the job is done, press the load unload button to remove the vinyl. Cut out each word. Use your weeding tool to weed away any of the unnecessary parts of each word. Customizing a sash is a perfect idea for a birthday party, bachelorette party, bridal shower, beauty pageant, graduation, homecoming, or prom. I want to give a shout out to all of my subscribers. And if you hadn't hit that subscribe button yet, then what are you doing with your life? Seriously. <laughs> Now let's go to Google and type Cricut Heat Guide. Change the heat transfer material to glitter iron on. Because satin is not an option, I just chose cotton, but you might wanna choose something with less heat. Then hit apply. According to our guide, we're gonna set our heat press to 330 degrees and apply it to the fabric for 30 seconds. Then, because our sash is so long, we're gonna to have to repeat the steps for each word. If this video was helpful to you, click on the subscribe button so that you keep getting more tutorials just like this one. Remove the plastic liner when it's cool to the touch.
And that's it. An adorable sash that's easy to make. Until the next time, I hope that you continue to add a little more creativity to the world and keep coming back because you never know what I'll be creating next. Bye guys.